Have you ever wondered if gravity is the same everywhere on Earth? Most people assume it is, but there's a spot in Canada where gravity is actually weaker than usual. This isn't some science fiction story, it's a real scientific phenomenon. The Hudson Bay region has a gravitational pull that's slightly lower than the rest of the world, and scientists have spent decades trying to understand why. So, what's going on here? Why does this area have weaker gravity? To answer that, we need to dive into Earth's geological history and explore the forces shaping our planet beneath our feet. First, let's break down how gravity works. Gravity is the force that pulls objects toward one another, and on Earth, it depends on two key things, mass and distance. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational pull. Since Earth isn't a perfectly uniform sphere, its gravity varies slightly depending on location. Mountains, valleys, and even deep underground structures can affect gravity's strength in certain areas. Now, back to Hudson Bay. This region has been a scientific mystery for years because its gravitational pull is weaker than expected. This anomaly was first noticed in the 1960s when researchers studying Earth's gravity field found an unexpected dip in strength. Further studies revealed that this was not just a minor variation, but a significant and measurable reduction in gravity. So, what's causing it? Scientists have identified two main reasons. The first explanation goes back to the last ice age, which ended around 10,000 years ago. At that time, much of Canada was covered by an enormous ice sheet called the Laurentide Ice Sheet. This sheet was several kilometers thick and weighed so much that it literally pressed down on the Earth's crust, pushing it deeper into the planet's mantle. When the ice melted, the crust began to rebound, a process known as post-glacial rebound. However, this process takes thousands of years, and parts of the land are still slowly rising today. Since gravity is affected by mass, the land's depression and slow recovery mean there's less mass in the region than there would be if the ice sheet had never existed. With less mass, there's also less gravity. The second explanation involves the Earth's mantle, the thick layer of semi-solid rock beneath the crust. Scientists believe that convection currents in the mantle beneath Hudson Bay have caused mass to shift away from the region. This redistribution of material further reduces the gravitational pull in that area. It's a double effect. Both the lingering impact of the Ice Age and the movement of Earth's internal layers contribute to the weaker gravity. But does this lower gravity have any real effects? The difference isn't strong enough to be noticeable in everyday life. You won't float or feel lighter if you visit Hudson Bay, but precise instruments can detect the variation. It's also important for scientists studying sea level rise and geological processes. Understanding how mass is distributed beneath Earth's surface helps researchers predict how land masses will continue to shift over time. One fascinating way scientists study this anomaly is through satellites. The GRACE satellite mission, which stands for Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, has mapped gravitational differences across the Earth. It confirmed that Hudson Bay has one of the most significant gravitational dips on the planet. These measurements are helping scientists refine their understanding of post-glacial rebound and mantle dynamics. So while it might not be noticeable to the human body, the Hudson Bay gravity anomaly is a striking example of how Earth's geological history continues to shape our planet today. It's a reminder that even the fundamental forces we take for granted, like gravity, aren't as uniform as they seem. If you ever visit Hudson Bay, take a moment to appreciate the incredible forces that have shaped the land beneath your feet. The story of this gravitational anomaly is still unfolding, and as science advances, we may learn even more about how our planet's deep interior affects its surface. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Until next time.